Hi, I'm Deborah at EDH Gardens. Today we're going to talk about trellises. We're on our fourth generation of tomato trellises and I want to share some of our wisdom with you. Right now we've got a system that keeps our uh, tomatoes vertical all through the summer and supports the fruit without falling over. We didn't start with this though. We started like everybody else with just the cages that you can buy at the big box stores. Problem with those is it's very hard to anchor their feet in the ground securely. So once the tomato grows up, they fall over. What good is that? Not only that, but it's very hard to go inside your plant and keep it air, keep the air flowing. Uh, our second version of a tomato trellis was an, a wooden A-frame. So we got out our um, carpentry tools and we built an A-frame out of wood uh, to support all the way eight feet high. It supported the tomatoes beautifully. The problem, very difficult to get into the tomatoes. Uh, they're hidden underneath. The other problem is, on a, in a big windstorm, they blow over. Oh, you lose the entire tomato plant. So frustrating. The third thing we tried were big um, cylinders of heavy gauge fencing. Uh, it was great. Um, the problem was, number one, very difficult to anchor. Once the tomatoes get tall, they tend to fall over. Number two, reaching inside the cylinder to harvest the tomatoes was a real problem. It was also very difficult to keep track of the pests. You want to get those tomato hornworms out. Can't see them. So this was our, is our fourth generation. We're actually on our second year with this kind of uh, setup where we've got some metal fence posts. These are seven foot metal fence posts that we can drive a foot and a half down into the, into the soil. It takes a little bit of work with a, a sledgehammer to get them in. Make sure you don't uh, nick your irrigation system on the way down, we've done that. Uh, and then hang this heavy gauge uh, seven foot wire fencing on top. Once we've got it in place, we set it up in uh, with the fence posts every three, four feet and unroll the metal fencing in a pattern to give the tomatoes plenty of space. What I love about it, what has been successful for us, I spread the tomato out along the fence. So I can look inside the, the plant and check for tomato hornworms. I can spray the entire plant from front to back to get rid of any aphids that may turn up. Best of all, when this fruit starts coming out, I can see it, I can put it in a protective bag, I can monitor it and harvest it when it's ready. I think what the plant would tell you is that it has a much better exposure to sunlight here. So that's what you can see now. We'll show you the rest of our, our garden where you can see we've got plenty of light falling on these leaves. We're gonna have a great harvest this year. What kind of trellis system do you use? What works best in your garden? Write it in the comment section, let us know. You wanna try our system? Write it in the comment section and let's, uh, let us hear from you. Hi, I'm Deborah from EDH Gardens. We're talking about tomato trellises and trellises in general. We're on our fourth generation of trellis here. Uh, this is where we started. We got a uh, hundred foot coil of heavy gauge wire fencing. We hauled it down into our garden, set up these seven foot fence posts and rolled it out in a serpentine pattern. Uh, the nice things you can see is this is our second year. It went through windstorms. We left the tomatoes up way too late. So there's plenty of foliage on here with major windstorms blowing through. It's fine. No problem. Um, now, a couple of the drawbacks uh, that we discovered. Serpentine pattern is nice for optimum exposure of plants. You can put a lot of plants in but it's really hard to walk around this garden. You want to cut through? Well, you can't because it's closed off there. You have to walk around to the back. So in our second generation of this type of trellis, we've um, minimized the amount of um, time we have to spend walking to the back. We set it up in a U-shape 
or just in a straight fence line. Our new trellis system for our tomatoes was so successful that we actually decided to bring it up into our patio area. We've got a vertical garden set up here. We had a pergola over this area, which created a lot of darkness in our garden. We took it down and we used the um, support for the pergola to set up our trellis. So now we're into vertical gardening in our actual living space. This is a sun gold tomato. Uh, we've got two plants. Look how it's spread out across the trellis. We've got a ton of fruit. It's set up kind of like our own local candy store because these sun gold tomatoes are so sweet, so delicious. Why not eat healthy when you're just hanging out by the pool? What I love is I can spray this plant. I can keep the aphids off. Uh, I just spray with water, just mechanical uh, dislodging of pests. I can also check it carefully for tomato hornworm. So there's not going to be any little worms in the center that I don't even see till they're big and gorging on our plant. I'm watching right now and I can see all the way through the plant. We love this system so much that we took it over to the other side of our patio area. This is gonna be more of just a decorative planting. I know the, the fence is kind of ugly right now, but we planted some beautiful pink jasmine. Um, it's small now, but these are vigorous growers. We're gonna cover this entire uh, fence with pink jasmine. Have a lovely fragrance here for family lunches out by the pool. Vertical gardening is the way to go. It absolutely is fabulous.